Hey Rev, happy Saturday. Coach Jordan here coming to you for the last workout of the week. Um, yeah, that's what we got for time. It's going to be great. Um, not really sure how long this was. In, this one is going to take. Um, just to be on the safe side, uh, I'd put yourself a uh, 25 to 30 minute cap on this workout, uh, depending on how confident you are in your running um, or just how confident you are with a longer workout like this by yourself, uh, you can play it by ear. But I imagine most folks can finish in under 25 minutes, okay? Uh, let's go through the warm-up really, really quick. Pretty straightforward. Uh, just need to get your body moving today, okay? So you're going to run through this two times. You're going to run for one minute. Uh, if you plan on biking, skiing, rowing, uh, swimming, if you can, yay. Um, instead of running today, I would just mix that in with your warm-up here, okay? Do that movement for a minute. 10 air squats, 5 burpees, 15 jumping jacks. Pretty straightforward, okay? Two times, run a minute, 10 squats, 5 burpees, 15 jumping jacks. You're going to be plenty warm, okay? I want to get into this workout because there's a lot going on, all right? Um, four time, you're going to go through this one time, top to bottom, okay? We're going to talk about each of the movements individually. Uh, 800 meter run. Uh, the picture of the 800 meter course that we have at CFP and figure what... Does that look like for me? Uh, easiest thing I would do, obviously, rather than if, if you want to, you know, get your vehicle out and drive that distance and figure out what it is, that's one thing. Otherwise, <clears throat> you know, know what your mile time is and you can cut that in half, right? 800 meters is just shy of uh, half of a mile by about nine meters, okay? So um, if you know you can run a mile in about seven and a half minutes, just say, hey, I'm going to run for three minutes today or four minutes, whatever it may be. That's totally fine. Okay. All we're after is the first couple minutes of this workout, starting out with a run. Okay. Uh, this could also be a power walk. Same thing. Set yourself two and a half to three minutes. Um, excuse me. Um, I lost my train of thought there. 800 meter run, again, for most of us is half of our mile time. So if you can run a mile in eight minutes, Bam, I'm going to set aside four minutes of running or power walking to start, okay? We're going to go right down the movements today. Nothing crazy, just good old stuff we're good at because we're going to do a lot of them. 800 meter run, 90 second plank. That can be high plank or low plank, doesn't matter. Try to do that unbroken, okay? Uh, a minute and a half of unbroken planking or if you know you're going to have to break it up, do 30 second intervals. 30 seconds, take a few seconds of rest, get right back to it. Rest as little as possible there, Okay. 40 air squats, 35 sit-ups. Um, if you want to substitute those sit-ups for hanging knee raise or toes to bar, you can totally do that. 30 kettlebell swings, Russian or American. 25 push-ups, as challenging as you can make them. 20 box jumps or step-ups. 15 on each side, so it's technically 30, uh, but 15 on each side of a renegade row. 10 thrusters. Only five burpees in this whole workout. That's great. And then another 800 meter run. Okay, so let's run through that one more time just so you have it in case you're writing it down um, or jotting it somewhere so you have it. 800 meter run, 90 second plank, 40 air squats, 35 sit ups or toes to bar or hanging knee raises, 30 kettlebell swings, Russian or American, 25 push ups, 25, or excuse me, 20 box jumps or step ups. 15 on each side of a renegade row, 10 thrusters, 5 burpees, finishing with an 800 meter run, then your workout is over. Okay, let's talk about this one real quick. Not lots to talk about today because we should be pretty confident in most of the movements today. What I'm focused, what I want your focus to be, I'm going to use my television remote as my piece of equipment here, um, is those kettlebell swings, right? If you have a dumbbell or a torpedo, you could totally swing that object. You have a slam ball, those will just be slam ball to the shoulder. So you pick it up from the floor, bring it to your shoulder, back down on the floor. Okay. Kettlebell swings, just make sure, just like we talked about that deadlift earlier in this week, that when I'm finishing through, I'm just squeezing my butt. I'm not shooting my hips forward. It's not my momentum of me carrying through driving that kettlebell swing, right? It's all in my hips locking. As soon as my hips lock, that transfer of motion goes to that kettlebell, and that's what drives that kettlebell forward and then back into my body. Right? So there's that moment of weightlessness where the kettlebell is just traveling forward. Once it's not going any higher, I'm physically pulling it back into my hip crease, driving up. Driving up. That squeeze or that drive is what's propelling that kettlebell forward. Okay, We're not 
pushing it forward and loading up her lower back. It is coming from a butt squeeze and that's it, okay? 25 push-ups, we're good there. Strict if you got them. Uh, otherwise, do strict until you can't anymore and then switch to a knee push-up. 20 box jumps or step-ups. I talked about box jumps earlier in the week. Make sure you have a plan for those if you can safely jump to something. Otherwise, uh, sub those out for just 20 step-ups, okay? 15 of each side of renegade row. Remember, renegade row comes from that high plank position. All right, so if I have my object here, I'm just pulling. Keeping my shoulders as square as I can and my elbow goes towards the ceiling, you're gonna do 15 reps with each arm, so that's a total of 30, okay? That's gonna be a shoulder wrecker. So when you get to that second run or piece of cardio, your body's just gonna be tired, right? But we're gonna push through, okay? Because it's Saturday. 15 on each side of your renegade row, 10 thrusters regardless of your object. Uh, remember, a thruster is a object in the front rack, squat, into a press for one rep, squat, and press for two, all the way up to 10 total reps, okay? Five burpees, I can't remember the last time we did a 40, a 40 minute workout, a uh, 20 minute plus workout with five burpees, that's great, okay, enjoy it. You've earned it. Uh, and then finishing with another 800 meter run. Remember, a quick point with a run, whether you're running, biking, rowing, skiing, keep the time frame consistent if you don't have a set distance, okay? If you ran four minutes the first time, run four minutes the second time, or you biked, Six minutes the first time, bike six minutes the second time. Keep that consistent. Just see if you can push the pace at the end. If you don't have a piece of equipment that tracks distance, or again, you're power walking, whatever it may be. Keep your time consistent. See how it feels that second time around. Um, I'll be seeing some of you folks next week for outdoor classes. If you have questions about those, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Have a happy Saturday. Enjoy your workout and enjoy your Sunday.